Hi, my name is Dan, and I'm a tutor here at Tutor Tutor, and today I'm going to be doing a GCSE physics tutorial on the Doppler effect. Now, when tackling any Doppler effect question, you're almost undoubtedly going to have to use the Doppler effect equation. That is this one here. That shows that the change in wavelength over the original wavelength equals the change in frequency over the original frequency equals the speed of the object emitting, say in this case the light, over the speed of light. Now this can be changed around to do sound, so that would be the speed of the object emitting the sound over the speed of sound. And now this can be shown with this diagram here. Say you're that person, you can experience this in everyday life when you hear a fire truck coming towards you blaring its sirens. When it's coming towards you, you'll hear the siren pitch as much higher, and as it's going away from you, it'll change instantaneously, entirely down to the Doppler effect, and it'll go a lot lower. So here, as you can see, as it's driving towards you, the wavelength of the light you're seeing is bunched up, so the wavelength is smaller. And as it comes away from you, you're going to see that the wavelength gets spread out. So this is going to be a lower pitch, it's going to be a higher pitch. Now, say you're this guy here, and you are observing the light to be hitting, we'll just go with light now, the light to be hitting you at 400 nanometers, but it's actually being emitted at 500 nanometers. You work out the change in wavelength by doing 400 minus 500, which equals 100 over the 500, which is the original, and you equate that to the speed of a fire truck over the speed of light. And then you multiply that out, and you get the speed of a fire truck to be equal to 0.2 times the speed of light meters per second. Now, some exam papers will let you leave it like that. Some of them will want you to expand it out to this, which is the speed of a fire truck equals 6 times 10 to the 7 meters per second.